1953, Earth experienced a war of the worlds. Common bacteria stopped the aliens, but it didn't kill them. Instead, the aliens lapsed into a state of deep hibernation. Now the aliens have been resurrected, more terrifying than ever before. In 1953, aliens started taking over the world. Today, they're taking over our bodies. will help us bring a new age to this planet. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. Are you ready? We are the travelers. We are your friends. We are your friends. We need your help. We can save your world. We need your help. We need your help. We are hope of peace. Believe in us. We need your help. Believe in us. We are the freedom. Believe in us. 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 company. No kidding. I would have never guessed. We came to pick up the album. When are you idiots going to realize I will not be interrupted while I'm recording? Ain't no problem. Billy, baby. Oh, Billy, baby, me. The album isn't finished. The album is finished. The album is finished. Hello. This is Billy Carlos answering machine. He's on tour. And you are not. We are ready. Put on the embed first. Once the embed is heard by the right human, our people will no longer have to fear death from Earth's bacteria. Perfect. Now we can hide the embed in the music. Crank it up. Faster. Louder. 
crank it up. More, step on it. Give it to me. Louder. Faster. More, crank it up. Louder, faster. Give it to me. We have an appointment with Dr. Von Deer. Sounds like Billy Carlos. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, we have a music problem around here. Is this Billy Carlos? Dr. Von Deer's favorite artist. He's been playing this particular album night and day for a month. You must be Dr. McCullough. I am, and this is Dr. Blackwood. I just love Carlos's music. I find it a little hard on the ears. Dr. Von Deer's in the pit. You can go right in. Thank you. In the pit? That's what he calls his private workspace. Good morning, Eric. Oh, Suzanne, you are late. So you'd like to retard the process of live cell face matching? Huh? Actually, no. I, I'm looking for a way to block it completely. Block it? I'm doing some self-face work myself, but from a different approach. Maybe I, I'll be of some help. Eric, we have been corresponding about this for months. You promised I could have some of your time on the long weekend. I've completely forgotten. I've been so busy lately. Now, there'll be some windows of time here and there left. If you were willing to stay, of course. Eric, we agreed that I would stay here this weekend. Yes, yes. I can use the diversion. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to get back to work. Nice talking to you, Dr. Blackwood. Oh, yeah. Um, Billy Carlos, right? Yes. He sent me this type before he left on tour. I knew him as a child. His new composition hasn't been released yet. Are you his fan as well? Oh, for years, yeah. His complex chord structures and his, his tonal progressions, they tune my mind and stimulate my imagination. Very well put. He's the, the Alban Burke of the new set. Here. I have many more left in case I break one. I appreciate this. location and events map of the continent. Now, those flashing areas are areas of high alien activity. If we can continue to accumulate these statistics, we just might get a fix on their home base. Norton, I need you to access the Defense Department files for the nine years prior to the alien invasion of 1953. Find out what we did. Civilian and military may provoke the aliens to attack us. Provoke the aliens? I need this ASAP. Oh, I've got a great new Billy Carlos tape. If you get some free time, I'll play it for you. Free time? The guy just gave me a career's worth of work.
Got a flash message on my terminal. Didn't realize you are in the computer. Uh, well, I was just trying to access some files and I ran into a security block. Security block? Oh, it's necessary to protect this research. Been doing some work on national security. It's classified. You understand? We'll discuss it later when I have more time. Fellow traveler. We are your friends. Believe in us. I believe. Who is the woman? An old student of mine, just here for the weekend. You understand our presence must be kept secret. If your government were to learn of our existence... They would lock us in cages and conduct scientific experiments on us. Oh, friends, trust, trust. I took every precaution. That's good. The essence you requested? Yes. From the brain stem. Many travelers died to supply that. Died? They gave their lives willingly. A sacrifice to the great work you are doing to help us save your world. You will help us bring a new age to this planet. But time is short. Oh, friends, I assure you, with this, within 48 hours, you'll have your vaccine. That is good news. Once our people have been immunized against the bacteria, we will finish what we came here for. Yes, and live as friends. Yes, we will live as friends. Your decision not to take over the body of the one called Von Deer continues to trouble us, comrade. The human's body is too fragile to tolerate the trauma of possession, Advocate. We feel that sacrificing the human prematurely would be a serious loss. Failing to get the serum we need would be an even greater loss, comrade. The music and beds are working. The human is ours, both in mind and in heart. He says he'll be finished in a few days. You have two days to complete the mission. No excuses. We hear your command. We are nothing without your counsel. Can you stand? 
Are you all right? Oh. Yes. Just want to rest. Sleep, and you'll be okay. Without all the racket. Hmm? Oh, my God, what's this? Look, Harrison, we have something we have to talk to you about. I've been over every piece of data that I can find. Suzanne found alien tissue samples in Von Deer's lab. I just couldn't figure it out. And then suddenly it hit me like a brilliant comet flashing across the morning sky. You mind if I turn this thing off while we talk? Oh, leave that on. You can turn it down, but I need that. It was all that atomic testing, don't you see? And Hiroshima and Nagasaki didn't help, of course. What the hell are you talking about? I mean, didn't you hear what Norton just said? Von Deer is doing alien research. Listen to me. We have got to start taking responsibility for our actions on this planet. We've frightened the aliens. We've put them on the defensive. And we're still doing it. Harrison, I... Listen! Put yourself in their place. You're travelers. You've come across the far reaches of the universe to this strange planet Earth. And what's the first thing you see when you arrive? One group of natives obliterating another group. Women, children, old people. Entire cities laid waste by atomic weapons. Madness continues. The atmosphere is filled with radiation. The Earth is poisoned. The sea is rotting. Not to mention what we're doing to the ozone layer. What would you do? Harrison, Suzanne found alien tissue samples in Von Deer's lab. Yes, I know. You told me that. Well, aren't you the least bit angry? Concerned? Aren't you at least curious? Look, Suzanne is a big girl. I know she can handle it by herself. Now, communication, that's the key. We've got to let these travelers know we don't mean them any harm. We're their friends. And they can believe in us. That's what's going to turn this all around. What is with him? He's playing with our heads. Right. <laughs> when am I going to get used to his perverse sense of humor? <laughs> well, I've known the man for years, and it still fakes me out. <laughs> General Wilson guarantees me that the professor is not doing alien research of any kind, at least not for us. And he's not cleared for national security work either? All of which suggests... That Suzanne stumbled into a nest of aliens. Von Deer Research. Stay calm, Suzanne. I'm on my way. I'm fine, Paul, and I'm way ahead of you. I just wrapped up a cell analysis of Dr. Von Deer's hair. He's not an alien, thank God. Suzanne, you could still be in danger there. Not until I find out what's going on here. I'll call if I find anything.
in your dream. I asked, what were you doing? I was just... Nothing, Eric. I was just looking. Are you feeling any better? You gave me quite a start this morning. Suzanne, just give me the bottle. Well, I was just going to ask... Just give me the bottle! You're holding the future of the world in your hand. If you don't let go of me, Eric, I am going to drop the future on the floor. No. Please don't. I found the alien tissue samples and the body fluids. I know you're working with the aliens. So you know about the travelers? Is that what they call themselves? Why are you so condescending? They are our only hope for the future. Eric. In 1953, your travelers invaded this planet. It was the Holocaust then, and they want it to be a Holocaust now. Suzanne, you are wrong. These extraterrestrials are different. They are no invaders. They are spiritual guides leading us into a new age. Oh, Eric. Suzanne, let me show you. Did you hear it? Billy Collins, the sound of the future. Travelers are going to help us to end poverty, pollution, hunger, no more hate, no more wars. Suzanne, can't you see it? The future of the planet is at stake. Maybe you're right, Eric. Maybe the aliens are victims of a terrible misunderstanding. And I do want to help you. They are our friends. They are our friends. Maybe I should put this in a safe place where we can lock it up. his mind stress overwork i don't know i don't know but something got into him something potent enough to flip-flop his entire value systems 180 degrees gertrude whoa or maybe he just snapped i don't know but i wish suzanne was here Wait a minute. 
it. Wait! Hey, wait! That's enough, okay? It's okay, Harrison. Yes, it must have been the music that affected Dr. Von Deer as well. Some kind of subliminal seduction is my guess. Leaving them both vulnerable to suggestion. I'm worried. Uh, don't be. Uh, we got things pretty well under control here. Now, since Von Deer was the primary target for this thing, I think you better stay there until you find out what's going on. Okay. Call me if you need me, okay? And whatever you do, keep Harrison away from that music. The withdrawal will only be worse the longer he's exposed. Through this door! No. I want you to get that tape. Forget about the tape, Harrison. You're doing this to get back at me, aren't you, Colonel? You really resent me, don't you? You think you should be in charge of this mission, right? Do it the military way? Kill them all and let God sort them out? Isn't that it, Colonel? All brawn and no brain! I still have a great amount of respect for you, Harrison, even now. I know why you're doing this. You want to see the freak. You want to see the freak crawl. You want me down on my knees? Huh? You want me to beg? Please? Look, Harrison, back off. Just get up, okay? Right. Big man's in charge now. Big man's in control. that tape and I want it now. No! Just gotta calm down. You're a little sick right now. A little out of control. You're gonna be okay. You know what you want? You want money, right? I'll give you money. Here, take what I've got. I'll give you more. Let me give you $5,000. I'll give you $50,000. Harrison, you don't have $50,000. I'll get it. I'll borrow it. I'll steal it. You know I'm good for it. I'll have it here in an hour. I mean it. Just give me a taste of that music. It's just a taste. Just a taste. It's a taste. How you doing? I'm just terrific. No more hounding on doors or yelling at the top of your lungs? That music hooked me. It mentally and physically hooked me. I just couldn't get enough of it. It is past tense, though. What's Suzanne doing? Well, Suzanne says that Von Deer was developing a serum 
that would be compatible with alien blood. Whatever the hell that is. I guess that means they won't be trying it on humans. Oh. Yeah. I wish my mind wasn't so fuzzy. Suzanne also said that Van Deer flipped out just like you. Only he was a lot worse, a month worse. I guess that makes sense. If it was something in the music, he had a lot more direct exposure than I did. Besides, he was a lot crazier to start. Okay. Not a lot crazier. There. There. It sounds like somebody dropped something into the music, an embed of some kind. It reminds me of the 60s. You remember Paul is dead? Advertisers have been using subliminal suggestions for years. Now, hold on. I'll give you a visual representation. This area here looks kind of like a beta wave that could render the subconscious more receptive. So that any commands that were repeated would become gossip. music feels so good is somehow it stimulates the pleasure centers of the brain. That's what makes it so addictive. I wish to speak with Professor Von Deer. Uh, well, Dr. Von Deer is indisposed right now. Can I help you? Unlikely. Tell him I'll call back. Norton, it's you. Look on your screen. Those are your codes. They'll get you inside Von Deer's files. You okay? Yeah, I'm a little anxious, that's all. Well, if you need anything, call. I will.
Yeah. Von Deer is developing a vaccine to protect the aliens against bacteria. How far along is he? Norton, I'm looking at a whole bottle of it. Right in front of me. There's enough here for thousands. Suzanne's found out what the professor was up to. He's developed a vaccine so that the aliens can protect themselves against the Earth's bacteria. Gordon, call Suzanne and tell her that we're on the way. Are you sure you're... I'm fine, Colonel. I'm really fine. Let's go. Are you sure you want me to do this? The research is invaluable, Norton. The aliens get their hands on it. They can duplicate the vaccine even without Eric. After I drop this computer virus into Von Deer's files, the aliens won't be able to tell if it's English. Chicken soup. Okay. <laughs> Eric! I just want to sleep. You're here. Dr. Von Deer said he'd be coming. I have the vaccine. We finished it a few hours ago. What are you doing here? Assisting. Dr. Von Deer is exhausted. He's been working day and night, you know. Where is he? Resting. He said to make sure you got this. You know, I didn't even hear you buzz. The music must have been too loud, but it's so good. I am so thrilled to be part of this great work. Dr. Von Deer has told me everything. We want to see him. He's in his office. Suzanne? Suzanne, are you okay? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I am now that you two are here. I think they had an argument over what to do with me. I was too scared to look up and see if they'd gone. Dear God, did they get the vaccine? Well, let's go. We've got to stop them. Oh, wait a minute. I think I already have. Going over Eric's notes, I found a report on a lab accident. The tiniest amount of ammonia, a trace amount barely detectable, fell into the Petri dish, destroying three months' work. Well, ammonia causes the aliens an allergic reaction. I have a feeling the aliens are going to be a little disappointed with their vaccine. <laughs> honor of your great achievement, you are granted the privilege of being the first to be inoculated against Earth's bacteria. Thank you, Admiral. At last, we will walk the Earth as free beings. As will all who follow us. The human scientist was the most brilliant of his race. It is obviously a task beyond the scope of human intellect. 